Divergent Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Begin by painting all of your nails white, or if you'd like a very light color, but I would suggest white. Erudite, so we'll begin by painting a blue circle in the center of our nail. And for these circles, um, if you mess up just a little bit, um, you can always fix them with a little bit of white paint. And that is the reason why I suggest painting your nails white, because if you were to paint them a color, then you would have to fix them with that color, or just live with your mistakes. And it's just easier if you do them with white. Okay, and then in the center of that circle, we're going to be painting the eye. So I'm going to be starting with the upper lash line and then add just a little bit of that upper lid just to give a little bit more definition and then go down and add the lower lash line. And then start by adding the center of the eye. So it's just a little light outline and then we're going to be adding the pupil and this is all done in blue. And then for candor, begin by painting a black circle in the center of your nail. And this is all the same thing, you know, for the circles. You know, you paint the circle and you want it to be as big as it can be on your nail. I have fairly small nails just in general, so mine aren't as big as a lot of people may be able to get them. So you want it to fill up your nail. You don't want a lot of extra white space. Okay, and then for candor, there's a scale. So starting, just paint like the base of the scale and then the line coming up. This is also in black paint. And then a little circle and a little line above. And then the two arms of the scale. And one will be a little bit lower than the other one. So you wanna keep that in mind, which is really difficult, surprisingly, to make them uneven. <laughs> you wouldn't think, but it is. And then add the two little baskets. And these should be the same distance from their arm. So the one should be higher than the other one. And then add just two little strings so that they look like they're hanging down. Okay, and then for Amity, we will begin by painting a red circle in the center of our nail. <laughs> I feel like a broken record. Okay, and then painting a tree up in the center of that nail. And it's a very curvy, elegant, flowing looking tree. So use smooth lines to paint this one. And then add a couple little roots at the bottom and then some leaves. So for the leaves, basically just add some little dots along the branches of the tree. Okay, for Dauntless, we will be using orange for our circle. And then add some flames in the center. Okay, so now for Abnegation. Now this is the difficult one because it's those two hands holding each other and Especially if you have smaller nails, as I do, it's going to be difficult to get them to look right. And I'm not going to lie, it's not easy. But because it's also so small, it's, does, it's not so obvious if they do look a little funny. So don't worry about it if they're not perfect, because mine definitely aren't. So it's not a big deal. Because, again, they are so small that it's hard to tell. So, as always, a gray circle. 
in the center of our nail and especially for this one you want to be as big as possible and I have a lot of wasted space on the side of my nail so that's probably part of my problem <laughs> My camera didn't turn on, and that's just, I did it, so it's what it has to be, but you're going to want to paint the shapes, and for this, it's almost like a line that's got some stuff in the middle, and then you're going to be filling in those shapes with white paint, and you're just going to be defining each of those little fingers. So I'm starting with the thumb of the hand on the left or right depending on which direction you're looking from and then I'm just going to be filling in the other hand and these hands are shaped kind of funny I mean like they're holding each other kind of strange and so the whole thing is just a little weird and awkward and hard to paint in general so yeah but anyways so then just to find that odd looking hand with some gray paint and my pointer finger on the one hand was not quite long enough so I'm just going to lengthen that up and then add your favorite top coat thank you so much for watching I hope you liked this tutorial please comment with requests and subscribe also check me out on Facebook and Twitter I will see you in the next video